From the differences between the ocean's favorite flippered mammals to what separates crocodiles from alligators, in this video, we look at animals that are sometimes confused for one another. Number 12. Rabbits and Hares Known for their long ears and hopping behavior, rabbits and hares are often regarded as adorable creatures by animal lovers, despite often being unable to tell the difference. Though the names may seem synonymous, in actuality, these are two very different species, in a shared mammalian order called Lagomorpha. One major difference between the two can be seen in their young. Newborn rabbits are birthed without hair or sight, while baby hares enter the world with full coats and functioning eyes. But fully grown, the contrast between the two becomes even more clear. Hares are usually larger than rabbits, noted by longer legs, longer ears, and an all-around more feral appearance than the domesticated companions you might find in the pet store. Number 11. Wolves and Dogs Canines have been man's best friend for more than 15 millennia. At some point in history, humans adopted wolves as their companions. But in the modern world, a litany of evident characteristics divide these pack hunters from their domestic brethren. The first major sign in telling whether you're dealing with a wolf or dog is the size of the creature's head. Wolves have much larger heads, especially when examining it proportionately to their more narrow body frames. Conversely, dogs have wider bodies. Dogs also have much shorter legs compared to the long legs and large paws of wolves. Behavior is the biggest indicator, though, as dogs are much more social than their wolven kin, thanks largely to years of breeding and domestication. Number 10. Sea Lions and Seals Whisker-faced and equipped with strong flippers as some of the few aquatic mammals, both sea lions and seals get mixed up in the mind of the common person. And unless you're on rocky beaches often, you probably don't run into either enough to start telling them apart. Luckily, there are a handful of traits to help tell them apart on sight. Long flippers are indicative of a sea lion, especially the back flipper, which they will fold and use as a way to help them walk. Seals, on the other hand, have short, stubby front flippers and lack the ability to rotate their back flippers in the same way, forcing them to wriggle more like a caterpillar or worm. In addition, sea lions are noisier and frequently bark. Aside from that, just look for the ears. If you see flaps, it's a sea lion. Otherwise, it's probably a seal. Number 9. Llamas and Alpacas Both may seem like the livestock version of a giraffe, but the alpaca and the llama are much more different than most realize. The glaring contrast between the two lies in their hair. Alpacas resemble sheep in the fineness and bountiful yield of their fleece, where llamas are more like goats with coarse straight hair. Because of this, alpacas are usually kept and bred as livestock for the fibers they yield, while llamas make favorite pack animals and meat sources in their native lands. Llamas are all around larger as well, growing as heavy as 400 pounds and hosting features like a longer face and ears than their woolly cousins. Number 8. Bees and Wasp Buzzing, stinging, and equipped with black and yellow color schemes, people typically don't care too much whether the insect matching this description is a bee or a wasp. They just care about escaping unharmed. Yet these two bugs aren't quite the same, and knowing the difference may just end up helping you survive their sting in the long run. Bees tend to have a bit of fur lining their stockier bodies, using the inherent static to pick up extra pollen while feeding. Wasps, though, have a more lithe figure, with a slender, smooth, and shiny body. Unlike bees, who rely on flowers for sustenance, wasps are active hunters, and thus more aggressive, and likely to annoy you when eating. This is an issue made even worse by the fact that wasps sting multiple times with no consequence. Alternatively, the mild-mannered bees can sting once, but sacrifice themselves in the process. Number 7. Frogs and Toads Amphibious in nature, these creatures look incredibly similar on first glance, 
but a closer examination reveals the actual gap between toads and frogs. Frogs are characterized by their long legs and slimy, mucus-coated skin. On the other hand, toads are stumpier, with thick, stubby legs and a rough, thick skin layer. Looks aren't the only way these large-mouthed swimmers differentiate, though, as frogs and toads bear their young in their own unique ways, with frogs laying eggs in clusters, while toads create a long strand of eggs. Unlike many of the paired creatures on this list, though, these clues aren't nearly as reliable. Both creatures have many individual species that would qualify for the other's category with their shared order. Rough-skinned frogs and slime-covered toads both exist, thus making the distinction more difficult to make in real time. Number 6. Jaguars and Leopards The ability to identify these two spotted prowlers most likely won't make you any safer should you encounter either one in the wild. However, the elements that distinguish a leopard from a jaguar are interesting to say the least. Jaguars are overall thicker than leopards, with a compact stout musculature and a larger head. This is fitting as the leopard is considered to be the smallest of the four big cats. Both creatures are capable swimmers, though lepers will avoid it where they can. Jaguars have almost identical spots to leopards, but theirs feature extra spots within the rosette camouflage. And of course, native habitats play a role in recognizing which is which with jaguars being an endangered species throughout Central and South America, as leopards populate jungles throughout Africa and Asia. Number 5. Aardvarks and Anteaters On paper, these creatures seem to have a lot in common. Both eat ants, both start with the letter A, and both have elongated snouts. But in truth, these colony consumers are a world apart, or half of one at least. Anteaters are found traditionally populating Central and South America, while across the Atlantic Ocean, aardvarks call Africa home. These two creatures evolved completely separate from one another and are actually two completely different species that don't even share the same order. This can be seen in their physical differences as aardvarks sport rabbit-esque ears, short, coarse fur, and a set of claws meant for digging. Anteaters have small ears, long fuzzy coats, and such long claws for picking out ants that they impede their movement. Number 4. Monkeys and Apes Monkeys and apes are both primates with many similarities, making it fairly understandable how they can so easily be confused with one another. After all, as some of our closest relatives in the animal kingdom, seeing their semi-bipedal, tool-utilizing behavior is all it takes to recognize family as family. But what separates an ape from a monkey? The most obvious answer is the presence of a tail. Most monkeys have tails whether they be marmosets or baboons. Meanwhile, chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans are completely tailless, along with being generally larger than monkeys as well. Their broad shoulders and chest muscles have been attuned to match their vine-swinging needs, while monkeys are better suited for running from branch to branch. Number 3. Bison and Buffalo at some point in America's history, buffalo and bison were both used to describe the great bearded animal. Believe it or not, though, they're actually two separate beasts. Some of the more significant cues for separating the two bovine behemoths can be found in their horns, humps, and homes. Buffalo have large, distinct horns that can reach up to six feet in length. Meanwhile, bison have short, piercing horns. Bison also have an arching humped back, while buffalo look more like their cow cousins with a straight stature. And if those are too much to remember, just note that bison are found in North America and parts of Europe, while buffalo are native to South Asia and Africa. Number 2. Crocodiles and Alligators Cruising among swamps, streams, and even open oceans. These leather-backed man-eaters might as well be one and the same to most average people. Certain characteristics distinguish one from the other. Though considering some have to do with their faces, let's hope you never get close enough to have to figure it out. The shape of each creature's snout is a telling trait. 
with alligators sporting a broader, rounded tip of the nose, while those belonging to crocodiles have a sharper V-shape. Crocs can also seem like they're smiling with their mouths closed, as some teeth will stick out of their lower jaw, whereas gators can conceal their teeth thanks to a larger upper jaw. Location also plays a huge part as the habitat of alligators is within freshwater, as crocodiles roam saltwater environments for the most part. Number 1. Turtles, Tortoises, and Terrapins Turtles and tortoises are both shelled reptiles, often some shade of green, brown, or tan, and as such tend to be used interchangeably for the same creatures. However, these two animals, along with terrapins, are actually separate creatures within the overarching turtle order. The chief difference between them is actually quite simple. Tortoises are turtles that live exclusively on land, while terrapins are small and live in fresh and brackish water.